Uranium stocks starting to move again, though surely nowhere near where they're gonna peak in this bull run. And so I thought it would be interesting to look into which uranium miners have been talked about and looked into the most just by doing some analytics averaging and whatnot, just to see which uranium companies are the most popular. Hey, my name is Dr. Krauss and I'm a 14 year old investor. Today's video, I'm gonna be just determining which uranium miner is the most popular using a couple different methods and averages just to determine, okay, maybe should we for our individual portfolios, do we wanna maybe look into a uranium miner that's not being talked about? Do we maybe wanna look into one that's got a lot of research done on because maybe there's you know a good reason for that, surely. Although I guess there's also a ton of research done on Tesla stock, so who knows? But it still would be interesting to look into. So without further ado, let's get right into that. Today's video is going to be in a different style than usual, so let me know at the end of the video in the comment section down below what you thought of this style, though I would definitely make sure to upgrade my microphone and add a webcam if I were to continue doing videos like this. So, first up are all the companies that I'm going to be comparing against each other today. And this is as from highest to lowest market cap, the and on their largest exchange that they trade on. And so this is also as of closed May 5th. So we can see, of course, Cameco in first place, followed by Next Gen Energy, Denison Mines, Energy Fuels, Uranium Energy Corp, Global Atomic, Vision Uranium, Uranium Royalty Corp, Encore Energy, ISO Energy, Your Energy, and Forces Metals. Of course, before we continue, make sure to comment in the comment section down below who do you think's going to win and be the most popular uranium miner. Now on to Google Trends. Something to note for Google Trends is that they only go as far back as 2004, and rather than giving you hard numbers, they give you relative numbers. They assign 100 to the absolute largest search period, and then assign everything with a relative percentage to that 100. And so you can see when you line that up with this, though it is a 25 year chart, so it's a little bit more difficult to do. You can see that in general, the uranium stock searches generally have lined up with the uranium spot price. You can see max zone about 2006, 2007, same here, before coming down the financial crisis and spiking back up in the early 2010s, 2011, before crashing back down after Fukushima. And though we did get a little bump in uranium spot price, there's definitely a lot more here but that's likely just because a lot more people are using google now than in 2005 down here is the interest by region and so we can see at the top are canada and australia which definitely makes sense since they're both heavy natural resource economies and a lot of uranium companies and general uh, basic materials companies and mining companies trade on their stock exchanges and operate in those countries, that sort of thing. So definitely all no surprises here. Now onto volume by stock. So the first main notable thing is that, not no, not that, <laughs> is that new the all the New York Stock Exchange stocks, of course, come above all of the Toronto stocks. And that's the reason why I chose the largest trading platform that each of these chose on, because I don't think that's a fair comparison. If we limit Denison Mines to just the Toronto Stock Exchange or something like that. So, but of course, Denison Mines, first up, insane volume. Just, that's ridiculous. They're punching well above their weight class. They were third place in market cap, as you can see right here. And then they jump all the way up to being first by a lot in volume. Same thing with Energy Corp, also punching above their weight class, considering they came in at fifth place before in market cap, and now they're up here at second, and actually in front of Cameco, of course, the largest uranium company by far, by actually a decent amount. Next up, we can see Energy Fuels, fourth place, which is exactly in line with their market cap, so definitely no surprises there. Followed by Euro Energy, and Next Gen Energy was also a bit of a surprise, considering they were the second largest market cap here. Their volume is actually only in six. And now after that, we jump on to Toronto and we can see 1.8 million for fission uranium. And after that, there's a steep decline down to the rest of these stocks. And so uh, the one thing I was surprised about was that Global Atomic was so low, considering they were sixth place here. And then Uranium Royalty Corp, Forces Metals, ISO Energy mostly lines up since they had some of the lowest market cap. Same thing with Encore Energy. Now on to YouTube searches or YouTube views, I should say. What I did here was I just went into a private browser, logged out of YouTube, of course, and just searched up each of the company names, essentially. I would search, but I would just click on the first recommendation. So if I typed in Denison MI, and then the first thing was that, that said Denison Mines, I would click on that, and it would search it for me. And I selected the top five videos that actually had the company's name 
in the, well, name of the video. And because sometimes what was happening was it would show, oh, here's the top five videos, but oh, two of them are, one of them's an interview and one's just a top five that doesn't even have it in the title. Or, well, I was including interviews that had to do something with the company, of course. But if it was just like, oh, here's this guy's top stock picks, then I would ignore it and go on just the next video that actually included the company's name. So first up, Energy Fuels. That's actually quite the surprise considering they performed at fourth place place in both the previous ones they jumped up to first place by a decent amount followed by Cameco which I mean hey at least they're coming in second that's better than third considering they're the largest company by far and then followed by Denison Mines which compared to their volume isn't exactly a blowout after that we can see Global Atomic definitely makes up for their volume at the end compared to their market cap with YouTube views, which I think it's largely because their CEO is out there doing a ton of interviews. That's what most of the top videos were. Followed by Encore Energy, ISO Energy, Fission Uranium, Your Energy, and then we have both Uranium Energy Corp and Royalty Corp, which back to volume actually, something that was notable is that the substantial difference between these two, since their companies are sort of linked or is royalties a subsidiary of energy, something along those lines, I'm not entirely sure. But we can see here that the views are roughly similar followed by next gen energy at the bottom which really surprised me since again they were the second largest company by market cap then in last place was forces metals but there was literally when i searched up forces metals on youtube two videos about them two videos about them that had their name in the title so i don't think it was really a surprise here not to mention oh yeah these were in thousands so it's not getting eight views a video that's eight thousand which definitely makes me feel better about uranium since definitely shows that yeah, we're getting here kind of early it looks like doesn't look like it's uh, you know it looks like it has quite a bit further to run if this is the amount of views we're getting on videos not 80,000. Now onto their rankings of Google Trends. So you might first be wondering average percent of Denison's top search period. Well, that's because when you look at all these companies over the trailing 12 months top Google searches is the one who had the largest spike was Denison. And so I just compared each one to Denison individually. So you can see right here, for example, that yes, Cameco is generally on top of Denison for Google searches, though because Denison had the largest spike, we have to compare to Denison and that goes for every other company. So we can see on average Cameco was a much larger percentage, though of course just didn't have the biggest spike, that's why we're comparing to Denison, but definitely makes sense here since maybe they're not quite as active on YouTube or being traded as much because a lot of people are probably just buying and holding, right? And then because they're such a big company, definitely makes sense that they're top tier with Uranium Energy Corp and Denison Mines with their volume, and although not so much YouTube views in Energy Corp's case, are substantially higher. That is actually surprising, yeah, only 30, it's second place here but then it just all, all the way down in 10th place over here but aside from that then we can see again denison mines energy fuels rounding out the top next gen energy finally is able to at least get close to its weight class uh coming in fifth place then we can see global atomic encore energy and dropping down and down and down and so we can see that at the bottom again poor old forces metals it seems like it's almost been the bottom or right at the bottom every time but we can see that in general okay not really anything too surprising here based on market cap or how they performed previously. Now, here's their total score. I added this up by taking their, whatever their initial rank was. So rank one is worth 12 points. This is worth 11, 10, 9, 8, etc. You get the idea here. And so, oh yeah. And then basically that's all I did. And I added that up from each one. So for volume, let's say, let's just do Cameco's example. They came in third place. So that is 10 points right there, followed by 11 points, followed by 12 points. So that, of course, all adds up to 33. Then overall, we can see, of course, if we were paying attention to the video, that, of course, this seems like generally what was coming out was that Energy Fuels, Denison Mines, Cameco, Uranium Energy Corp, all kind of near the top. Surprising Uranium Energy or energy fuel sorry placed quite well considering they never even had like a first place they were always kind of just steadily in a nice were they fourth place every time uh not quite but they were fairly steady in that fourth place though youtube searches first that definitely gave them a nice boost but we can definitely see it was tempting to give this one some uh bonus points because their volume was so much higher then you'd also have to go oh well then give cameco bonus points too and so it just kind of gotten all messy. But we can see that these two are definitely both very close, along with energy fuels. Then we can see after that, it starts to drop off quite substantially, especially after UEC. But then by the time we get to next-gen energy, which again, it just really did not perform well for its 
company size. And then we keep going all tied and at the very bottom forces metals. So after looking at all this, there's a few takeaways we could get from here. We might go, okay, well, let's go Chemico, Denison Mines, Energy Fuels, Uranium Energy Corp, or Global Atomic. These guys were all the most popular. We should probably look into them because there's a good reason for that. Or we might be thinking, hey, maybe URC or Forces Metals are hidden gems that we should look into. I think there's a very valid argument for both of those. So let me know in the comment sections down below which stocks out of here you would like me to look at because I'm definitely interested in a lot of these companies. Of course, it's uranium, though I'm slightly overweight in uranium. I'd like to look more into battery metals and whatnot, but I think uranium is always great and there's no reason you should be avoiding uranium. I mean, come on, Rick Rules pumping it. Why wouldn't you? So yeah, thanks for watching and all that. Make sure to smash that like button. I guess you can't see me throwing my fist this time. And again, make sure to basically do all those usual interactions that I always say. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.